welcome back to my channel so we're going to start by using the monoline brush from calligraphy and we're going to select just plain black and draw a circle just a normal circle <laughs> here I'm messing up but just a circle and then hold down with your Apple pencil and create you know a smooth circle because I can't draw normally <laughs> And we're going to alpha lock that layer by just tapping on the little thumbnail and clicking the alpha lock option. And then we're going to open up our red color palette and go for a darkish shade for the first one. And then we're just going to draw a circle within our already, you know, black circle. Smooth that out and just repeat this. And you can also switch color palettes if you want, just use any color of the rainbow really, it doesn't really matter. So after we've done that, we're going to alpha lock this layer, same thing, clicking the thumbnail and then hitting alpha lock, and we're going to use the organic twig brush um, and just select a the first color and, you know, swipe inwards and just continue that process. Select the color and swipe inwards until it kind of looks a bit like an eye. But don't worry if it's not perfect because this is all going to get blended out. Once we've done that, we are going to open up the adjustments menu and click perspective blur. And then we're going to blur that out to about, I don't know, until it's very blurry, probably about 84%. And then next, we're going to open up the adjustments menu again and click motion blur and blur that out to about 33%. <laughs> After that we are going to alpha lock layer one with the same process as we alpha locked layer two and create layer three and move that to the top. Yeah. We're going to select black again and draw another circle just over our normal circle with the monoline brush. And straighten that, you know, conform it to a circle. After we've done that, we're going to open up the adjustments menu once again and select Gaussian Blur. And blur it out to about 12%. So it's quite blurry. And then we're going to open up the layers and create layer 4, which should be at the very top of your list. I'm going to draw yet another circle over the top. And this time we're going to, bl we're going to blur it again after we've straightened the circle. We're going to blur it out to about 4% with the same Gaussian Blur. Just like that. Now if we open up our menu once again, we're going to create the pupil now. So we draw a little circle in the middle, make sure it's straight. And then we'll just fill that by dragging and dropping the color from the top right corner of the screen and selecting Gaussian Blur once again. This time we're still going to blur it out to about 4%. And now is the fun time. It is time for highlights. 
yet another layer and we're going to get our um, what's it called monoline from calligraphy select the white color and drag the scale on the left hand side all the way down to one and then we're just going to draw some dots now these dots aren't like super important highlights just think about where your light is coming from and try to draw the dots accordingly make sure they're nice and straight And I suppose that's just about it. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm still posting my alphabet series, so make sure to check that out. Consider subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Goodbye.